Good morning. Today is Thursday and it is clearly the countdown to Christmas. I have quite a few things that I need to get done, but I need to just get them done around the house. First, I'm gonna make my meatballs. It's kind of a tradition, although this is gonna be the first year that I'm gonna make them gluten-free. I can't make them dairy-free, but I, I am gonna make my, my meatballs. And tonight, my daughter-in-law and my two oldest grandchildren are coming out and we are gonna decorate those dairy-free, gluten-free cookies that I made because we didn't get them get decorated. They weren't able to come out till tonight. So I need to make some royal icing. And I think other than that, it's really just getting things together and making sure that everything in the house is, is, is done. Um, I had a little spill in my refrigerator, so I need to clean that up. And a little bit of laundry, but honestly, a lot of what I need to do is just kind of last minute stuff. I'm not gonna go shopping for those things I talked about yesterday until tomorrow because my husband needed to work on his Christmas Eve message this morning. And so we're gonna go out to get those few items like the spinach and the, the whole allspice and that tomorrow. Other than that, I think it's probably gonna end up to be a quiet afternoon because I'm probably gonna be able to just about do everything I need to do this morning. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna have a day of watching Roku. I don't know if you're familiar with Roku, but it's um, we, we pay for Netflix, Hulu, and Acorn. And so for under $23 a month I have television because like I said we don't have cable here so we have to go with either satellite or just with the aerial and the aerial we have a good aerial it works fine but <laughs> there really isn't a whole lot on TV let's face it is there but there are wonderful shows on Acorn which happens to be from the British broadcasting that is all shows from Great Britain mysteries and different types of dramas and I really enjoy them so I think I'm gonna catch up on a couple series that I haven't watched in a while and just really just enjoy the day anyways I will check in with you throughout my day I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later Look at my pretty little girl. She likes to sit across from wherever I am because then she can watch me and she can see what I'm doing. And usually if I turn on the camera, she immediately stops and starts posing. But since I've been doing these vlogs, she now realizes that most of the time I am not pointing it at her. So she doesn't even realize right now that she's she's the star of the show. I'm so proud of this little girl. She is just such a good girl. I love her so much. I have been on my computer making up some name tags and I wanted to show you you know for play settings since you know like there's over 12 people and that sort of thing it just makes it easier that way and I wanted to show you how creative I got I'm really proud of myself but these are them and look at Hopefully that'll focus in in a minute here. Come on, focus. Who wants to focus or what's behind? There we go, okay. Anyways, that is what I, I did. 
and I thought it was really creative because look at my napkins and I have plates to match I just thought that was so cute I was able I told you I was a matchy matchy type of gal yeah I am definitely a matchy matchy kind of gal so tomorrow guess what I have to do when since I have to go out anyways now I have to find some tablecloths because that's blue and red and green and the tablecloths that I have are green red and gold won't work will it <laughs> I'll probably just end up getting some you know those plastic throwaway white ones or something but I just had to show you that I thought it was really rather creative <laughs> come on you got to get them done I'm not in the picture. <laughs> this is being recording, yeah. Right. Here, For you too. Do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a typical 17 year old. Wait, can it hear me? That's going in the montage. You're following me on Instagram, guys. <laughs> I'm so nice. Jesse wants to be a YouTuber. Oh if you idea. put more blue in, it'll be darker. I don't know if you wanted to or not. I think it's like a snow blue. It's like frozen. It is. Do you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. She's a weird. Jacob, you're weird. My sister is a weirdo. My brother doesn't know how to drive. He's learning how to drive. Well, I'm not old enough to drive. And our road is awful. Well, and our driveway is awful. <coughs> I had his first slip in your driveway, which is actually probably good. Mm -hmm. like, okay. If you're going to slip. Be it. Ford at Honda. Can I put this no, on here? Me. You have ABS, right? Well, it's the, it's the ruts from the rain. Well, That's what. No, like your mm. snow out here is pretty crispy compared, like in town. When it, it when it rained, it Ew. it That's made like, a what? coating an inch thick. It was yeah. awful. You care more though. Check out my I'm glad he like hasn't stuff. felt that before, so it's kind of glad that he. Did you hear the ABS you're come on? Because you're supposed to push even harder. Your like, words don't hurt. What? It wasn't even like, like we were slipping like that. It's like God. the tail end shifting. Oh, we, like, I see. Actually, oh dear. Like we weren't any closer dear. <laughs> we had such a good time making these cookies. These kids just make me laugh. But I am so blessed to have them in my life and to have my daughter-in-law in my life. We are extremely blessed. And they were so funny. These cookies had so much frosting on. By the time these kids were done, they were swimming in frosting. These cookies are still on my cupboard because of the amount of frosting that was put on them. It's gonna take till morning for the frosting to dry so that I can pack them away. But they did, they had a really good time and I'm so glad they came over and I'm looking forward to just being able to spend time with them Christmas Eve and then again on Christmas Day. everyone again I hope that you had a very nice day and I did not get accomplished as much as I thought I would around the house but I did get the um, my kids bags all put together and I had to give them each a, I had gotten some empty vials in order to put essential oils in so they can have some for their necklaces and so I was just kind of going through and trying to find the blends that I thought that they would enjoy and uh, that's kind of what I did most of the afternoon and then uh, I was going to make the meatballs but I realized I needed more than three pounds I needed five pounds of meat so I had to take two more pounds out of the freezer and that will not be unthawed before morning so Hey, it is what it is, right? I'm glad Christmas is Sunday, not Saturday. <laughs> but tonight I wanted to read to you verses, or I should say verse, I'm sorry. Um, verse 13 of Isaiah 41. It's 
says, I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. I just find that remarkable that that it just really that verse provides us with such insight into the character of our Father in Heaven. You know, as children, we learned first how to walk, and then we learned how to run. And basically, it's just putting one foot in front of another, right? Seems like it should be pretty simple. But what if you needed to run a marathon? Now it's going to be much more than putting one foot in front of the other. Running that kind of race is going to take a lot more experience, training. It's going to take good shoes, good sneakers, that sort of thing. And it's going to take a lot of perseverance. Personally, I can't even imagine the desire to run a marathon, let alone actually training for one. But, you know, not all marathons are athletic events. Some might be financial. I've been through a couple of those. Others might be relational. They can also be emotional or physical or even spiritual. Sometimes they're races you choose to run, like maybe earning your master's degree or it going into childhood education or something like that. Others that you may experience marathons in, it's because you've been thrown into the marathon without any warning. Kind of like me with the financial a few years ago. Like being diagnosed with a disease or maybe losing your job. For the some of us, there there is just no time for training. You may feel as though you didn't even have a chance to put on your shoes for the marathon. God's presence provides the power you need, though, to persevere. He isn't an easy button that whisks you to the finish line. He's a coach. He is running beside you. He's offering perspective, strength, and encouragement every step of the way. I wanted to read you a quote that is written by John Owen. He said, the duties God requires of us are not in proportion to the strength we possess in ourselves. Rather, they are proportional to the resources available to us in Christ. We do not have the ability in ourselves to accomplish the least of God's tasks. This is the law of grace. When we recognize it is impossible to perform a duty in our own strength, we will discover the secret of its accomplishment. The only way that we are going to be able to run the marathons in this life that are thrust upon us is through God's grace through allowing Him to guide us, to direct us. Just like what I read 
in Isaiah 41.13. I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. And with that, remember, life happens. So let's enjoy it. Because God is there with us, holding our hand, helping us the whole way. God bless and good night.